Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Vlogging Up, and this is my review of Iron Man. Yeah, that wasn't really funny or necessary. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. My last review of Pathology did well. People seem to enjoy it, so I said why not? I'll do another review. And this time it's Iron Man, which was released today. Well, it's now Friday because I'm doing this review at 3 a.m., but it was released Thursday, the 1st of May, and uh, I grabbed my tickets and went early. Alright, so if you don't know what Iron Man is about, and you, you've you been hiding on a rock, and you haven't seen the trailer, basically Iron Man is about Tony Stark, who designs weapons. The, his company sells weapons around the world to the army and whatnot, and uh, one day Tony Stark is demonstrating his weapon called Jericho. After he demonstrates his weapon, he gets attacked and captured by terrorists. Basically, the terrorists want Tony Stark to build a Jericho and Tony Stark finds out that these weapons have been sold to the terrorists as well so they have all the equipment for Tony Stark to build a Jericho but uh, Tony Stark decides hell no I'm not gonna build any uh, any weapon for you terrorist people I'm gonna build an Iron Man suit which is the Mark 1 and uh, of course Tony Stark gets home he decides I don't want to make weapons and sell them to anyone I want to stop it. I want to protect the people, like he says in the trailer. Uh, people at first, people think Stark is kind of crazy because uh, um, his business is going to go down in stocks and whatnot. So he's made to look like, oh, he's a crazy person. He's been knocked up for too long. So um, I got to do this. I have to do this. That was for Rob Down Jr. Fucking A, he did a great job. He the guy was born to play Tony Stark. He like Rob Down Jr. brought his A game and um Damn, he brought so much wit, he brought so much charm, he made you smile, he made you um like at first he's kind of like an ass to people. He's a womanizer, but uh that that's that's the fun part of uh watching uh Tony Stark on screen. And uh, as the movie progresses, he kind of realizes his mistakes. He's kind of ignoring the people that mean to him around him. And I just thought Robert Downey Jr. did such a good job. And it's great that uh, the Downey is back doing great movies. Uh, the supporting cast, like Jeff Bridges, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Terrence Howard, they all did a fantastic job as well. He um, bounced off everyone perfectly and... Uh, yeah, props to the whole cast. Had no problem with them. The action scenes were phenomenal in this. The CGI was perfect. There wasn't any parts where I was like, that looks like a cartoon. That's like watching Iron Man the cartoon all over again. No, there was none of that. It was just very well done. The action scenes were... Like, you just wanted more action and action and action. And if there was any complaints about this movie, the one problem I did have with Iron Man, there wasn't enough action... There could have been a bit more uh, action than dialogue. So there's one more complaint I have to make. There is a scene after the credits. A very, very important scene. If you're a fan of reading the Iron Man comics and Avengers and whatnot. There's, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's a very important scene after the credits. And I'm thinking to myself, why the fuck are they playing such an important scene after the credits? Because I'm sitting there in my seat, the theater is packed. When the credits started, everybody left. There was me, my friend, and two other guys. We saw the scene at the end, and this was a very important scene. I think it's so fucking stupid that studios would play such an important scene after credits. I mean, who's going to sit around and watch it, really? So uh, stick around and watch the the scene after the credits. It's very important. So that's about it. I give Iron Man about an 8 out of 10. I would have given it a 9 out of 10 if there was more action in it. But um, 8 out of 10, there you go. Thanks for watching guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this review, if you do I'll keep on doing them and um, I'm going to be making more blogs hopefully over the weekend so uh, I'll see you then and thanks for watching.